In this video, I will go over dimension change for 3D figures. Dimension change is, how would the volume change if we change the dimensions of a 3D figure? Meaning, if I change the length, the width, or the height, or for cylinders or radius, how would that affect my volume? So, here we go. I have my first example over here. How much larger would the new volume of a prism be if the height is doubled? So we tackle dimension change by looking at the formulas for volume. Volume of a prism is length times width times height. All right. And then let's take a look at what happens. It says here we want our height to be doubled. So my new volume, length stays the same, width stays the same, but now I have doubled my height to h. <coughs> Comparing my original formula with the new formula, I see that this too is different right here. So this lets us say that the new volume is two times bigger. And this and as an aside, this comes from multiplication properties. Length times width times 2 times h. Multiplication tells me that that 2, I can move to the front. So really what I have is 2 times length times width times h. Meaning I have 2 of the original. So 2 times bigger. <coughs> Alright, what I'm going to do next is I will run through a couple of examples to get this idea down. First example, I have a prism with double the length, double the width, double the height. Again, my original formula for volume of a prism is length times width times height. My new volume, I have double my length, double my width, and double my height. Comparing the old formula with the new formula, I have that 2, that 2, and that 2. So we can say 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8 times bigger. Next example. This time I have triple the length, quadruple the width, double the height. I have different numbers for them. Volume formula, still length times width times height for prism. My new volume, I have triple my length times four times the width and two height. Again, LWH becomes 3L4W2H. Those numbers are different, so we can take these numbers. Three times four times two. Three times four, 12 times two, 24 times bigger. So you're multiplying those numbers for prisms and for prisms. <coughs> now let's take a look at the cylinder. Cylinder doesn't have length with their height. Cylinder is radius and height. So what would happen to the volume of my cylinder if I have double the radius? Formula for volume of a cylinder is area of the base times the height. Right here, area of base. Which is in the shape of a circle. It's a circle. Because it's a circle, area for that is pi r squared. Pi r squared is that area right here. So let me rewrite this equation with that new formula. Area equals pi r squared times my height. So this question says I want to double my radius. So for my new area, I still have pi, but now I have double my radius. And I'm putting that in parentheses because this whole thing represents your radius and it is being squared. So radius squared, this thing, the underlying right here, is your new radius.
Now, 2 squared is something you can do. 2 r squared is something we can do. 2 r squared gets me area equals pi. 2 squared is 4. Then r squared times h. Comparing my original formula with the old formula, I see there's a 4 that's different. So this tells me that my volume is 4 times bigger. Now that's just for changing my radius. In my last example, I want a cylinder still with 4 times the radius and half your height. So formula for a cylinder, again, it's still volume equals pi r squared, which is area of the base, times your height. Now let's look at our new formula. I have 4 times the radius this time. So I have 4r squared. And this time I have half my height. So I have 1 half your height. 4 times the radius, half your height. Cleaning this equation up a bit. That's still pi. I can do 4 squared to get 16 r squared times 1 half h. Now comparing my new formula right here and my old formula, I see that I now have a 16 there and a 1 half there. Those are different. So I can do 16 times 1 half, multiply those out equals 8 times bigger. So there you have dimension change for 3D figures. Key idea here is <coughs> to look at the problem and figure out what changes happens to my dimensions. Using those changes Plug them into your equation. So instead of L, I now have 3L. Instead of W, I now have 4W. Instead of H, I now have 2H. And then comparing your new formula with the old formula, see what's different. The 3, the 4, and the 2. So I can do 3 times 4 times 2, 24 times bigger. And there you have it.